Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. And in today's video, we're going to be taking advantage of Mayor Jerry a little bit more. Basically getting a bunch more Jerry boxes as well as taking advantage of the first of the three mining fiestas. Now, mining fiestas are a great event when it comes to mining, especially when in the crystal hollows and mining gemstones. So today, we're going to be mining an absolute ton of gemstones, probably the most I've ever mined, like in a single sitting. And especially since we've been doing all this powder mining we're going to be mining gemstones a lot more efficiently so i'm super super excited about that but really quickly if this is your first time here on the channel and you're not yet subscribed please consider doing so we're on the road to 120k by the end of the year and your support would mean the absolute world to me thank you all again for 100k genuinely can't thank you guys enough so without further ado, let's jump right into this one. Also, really quickly, make sure you check out the link in the description. There's a video from Twinko Plays where they made me a custom YouTube award. A custom YouTube award. It is probably one of the coolest things I've ever been gifted in my life. Genuinely, it means the world to me. I have it hanging up on my wall right now. So if you want to go watch a video of them making me a custom YouTube award, make sure you check out their link in the description down below. But without further ado, let's jump right into this one. So Jerry brings a bunch of things to the table, including a couple of mining fiestas, which is really, really good. Except for there was a change recently where Topaz doesn't work on adaptive or shadow assassin, which is what I was mainly using for like my gemstone mining setup. And so I want to do some gemstone mining during this mining fiesta, especially. And to do that, I need something that actually has topaz on the leggings and boots. And currently glassite does not offer that. I have a topaz on my chest plate and my helmet, which is really nice on my helmet and chest plate of Devon, which is beautiful, but my leggings cannot support this. So we're going to be crafting a brand new set today, which I'm actually kind of excited about. We're going to be crafting ourselves flame breaker and then turning it into yog armor, which is something I didn't really think I would ever be crafting. But really quickly, gotta grab another blue jerry box. Gotta steal that real quick. And now we can actually craft ourselves uh, this armor set. Quickly, I have to take a break to go and get my jerry. But so basically, I need a couple things. First off, I need a bunch of enchanted hardstone, and I actually have a ton. So we should be fine in that regard. We need to go ahead and make ourselves the leggings to start. I only want the leggings and boots, by the way. I don't need the chest plate and helmet. I have Devon armor, obviously. So uh, there we go, flame breaker leggings. And if we take those out, flame breaker boots. There we go. So let's put all that away. Let's put away all this hard stone. The only thing is flame breaker cannot hold topaz. It can hold ruby, um, amber, and jade, I believe, which is still really good, but not what we're looking for. And luckily through my travels in the crystal hollows, I have a bunch of yogis and I need 40 per piece actually. So it gets kind of expensive here, but basically we're going to surround it with our Yogi's really quickly, and we're gonna turn this into Yog armor. So there we go, Yog leggings, which you just love to see. Also, every 10 Yogs killed gives wear a plus one mining speed while wearing the set, max of 500, and grants immunity to heat produced in magma fields, which is really good as well. But if I'm down there, I will be using my battle pet, obviously. So there we go, Yog leggings, and now let's make ourselves the Yog boots. I never thought I'd be crafting this armor set, like ever. There we go, Yog boots. I do have enough for another piece if I ever wanna make a third piece of this set. Um, I don't want to, so I will not be doing so, but the option is there, which is always nice. Let's run over to the gemstone grinder though, because these are universal slots on them. Universal slots allow you to put any gemstone of any quality in your inventory to apply to this item, which is actually really, really interesting. And then also I have to buy these slots here with fine gemstones. That is actually crazy interesting. So really quickly let's try and just put ourselves a fine topaz on this thing i just want to make sure that i can do that so let's go ahead and put the leggings in here and then perfect i can put a topaz just in there like that that's a free slot for me now the other ones i need two fine amber for the two and ten thousand coins which is not bad whatsoever let's go ahead and do that uh fine amber okay perfect and oh and then i also want to put one in there though right so Click to unlock. Okay, there we go. We unlocked it. It did take an amber. So there we go. And now we need to do the same with the boots. Unlock and gonna put an amber in there as well. Now the jade slot requires four fine jades per slot. Now that's not bad per se, but I've been making like a bunch of gemstone mixtures and that's just like kind of annoying that it wants eight, but it's fine. I'm, I'll make sure I mine a little bit of jade during these mining fiestas. Boom, there we go. And then another jade in there, just like so. And then we're gonna do the same for the boots, just like so. That kind of drained all my fine jade. So I definitely need to target a little bit of jade 
during the mining fiestas, but that should not be bad whatsoever. I just want to make sure I have enough for, um, well, honestly, for a bunch of things, but mainly just for when I'm making gemstone mixtures. But there we go. We now have this hybrid set of half Yogg and half Devon armor, which honestly, I can't even lie, is looking kind of clean. It looks decent with the texture packs. I think they kind of mesh together well. It's really interesting, but obviously I still want full Devon armor, but this is just something to tie us over for a little bit. That's kind of the idea behind it. So hopefully that's exactly what this does. Also something that's very, very exciting to me. I just got a uh, golden plate finished on the forge and I can actually start a mithril plate, which is super, super exciting. So for this, I need five refined mithril, a golden plate, enchanted iron block and a refined titanium. These things are actually quite pricey. I need six of these in total for the four, five, five, the titanium drill. So I need to get these going. I have one already so far and this will be my second one. There we go. That is actually beautiful. That, these are actually so much work to get my hands on. It's actually kind of ridiculous, but we got our diamonds that we need for the next drill upgrade. We still need four more mithril plates and I still need a bunch of refined titanium. That's something I also need to put some time into, but we're making progress. And then the 555 is 15 mithril plates and half a stack of refined titanium and uh, 20 refined diamonds. I, I need to stop looking at it before I start crying. Oh my goodness, that's actually disgusting. But yeah, so far we're making good progress towards the 455. This is huge. Max gemstone collection. Oh my goodness, we unlocked Silex, which is crazy. And you need so much enchanted hardstone for this stuff. It is ridiculous. I mean, we actually need to get our hands on, what is that? 81 stacks of enchanted hardstone? which is, I, I can't even do the math in my head right now, but that's a ton, and that's just for one of these. You need five of them per, um, yeah, like per thing, which is actually just ridiculous. So like, I need five of them for my gauntlet. I'm gonna want five for my titanium drill. Overall, you just need an absolute ton. So still really happy that we finally got that unlocked. That's actually huge. You'll love to see it. Max hardstone collection. So uh, yeah, that should help in the future. And honestly, just another thing to start working towards getting a ton of hardstone and luckily while i'm powder mining before we actually do this um like mining fiesta is i'm actually getting a bunch more hardstone so kind of sucks i had to use a bunch though for the yog armor that was kind of a bit of a back set that i didn't really want to use enchanted hardstone for mainly because i still got to upgrade the minion all the way and then also i still have to be looking towards those silex but it's not the end of the world there's a lot of hardstone in the crystal hollows that you can mine out so just means a little bit more time I have to spend doing exactly what I'm doing right now. So really happy that we got that max though. That's actually kind of huge. After another daily powder, we're hitting a very large milestone actually. Powder buff level 40. There we go. That's actually huge. That puts us up to 2.5 million gemstone powder. Oh my god, we still have so much more to go. That's literally like nothing comparatively to like what we need in total. I still have a lot of work ahead of me, but I'm happy with the progress so far. So powder buff 40 and in, I'm still going to do some more powder mining, but in two and a half hours, we're going to be changing our tree over to actually like gemstone mining. And I'm going to be really, really interested to see how that works out. Um, if I can really tell the difference from last time I just mined gems because I've been on the powder mining um, tree for quite a while now. So I'm, I'm really, really curious how that will work out. I just realized I've been doing the mining fiesta for the last couple hours and uh, I haven't recorded anything yet. So I thought I would quickly jump in here to let you guys know what's going on. I've been doing the mining fiesta, obviously. It gives double the gemstones, ores, basically mining drops in that sense. Don't do cobble. One time I wanted to get super compactors during a mining fiesta and uh, that does not work. So just wanted to let you guys know. But basically I've been mining gemstones. I turned my tree into the F U heart of the mountain tree basically. So I have the F here kind of like so. And then I have the U up, at, or sorry, here's the F right here. And then up at the top, I have the U, which is kind of what's going on. And so I've been rocking this, been uh, chilling, mining the way. I have basically repurposed my tree for fortune um, for the most part and that's kind of what I've been banking off of as well as some mining speed as well But yeah, so far so good. I've mined a bunch of ruby to start I found like this ruby area in this lobby and more recently I've just been mining topaz because I really want to complete like the flawless topaz at least that I need for my chest plate and my helmet I have fine topaz on both of those right now So that'll be really nice to get and then also I mined ruby so that I could have enough for at least two flawless for the other two pieces of Devon armor I need, but I went over that. You know, I only needed a million uh, ruby and I'm at 1.4 mil. And in terms of topaz, I now have enough for three flawless. So maybe we can actually try and get our first perfect gemstone. 
which I think would be super sick if we can put a like a perfect gemstone onto our gauntlet and then get some flawlesses for the other stuff. So either way, I have a lot more topaz to mine and that actually really excites me, the idea of getting my hands on my first perfect gemstone. So that's kind of what's been uh, keeping me going here. But yeah, and then every couple minutes, in fact, I just realized I can get it now. I'll hop into like a little spot off to the side here. I mine away a bunch until a Jerry spawns, just like so. We got a purple one, by the way, which is super nice. Basically, I just kill my Jerry. Please don't burn. There we go. I get my Jerry box and I continue on my way. So far, so good. 20 greens, 16 blues, 5 purples, and 4 golden Jerry boxes so far. So really good so far. Also, I've been mining like a little bit of Amethyst on the side. And I think I mined a little bit of Sapphire as well. Just trying to get those numbers back up. And then I know for a fact as well, I really need to hit some Jade. So I definitely want to try and do that either this mining fiesta or the mining fiesta that is tomorrow. I just got combat tags for somehow, but I believe there's another mining fiesta. There is tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. Or sorry, on Saturday at 11.30 a.m. So I definitely need to make sure that I can go to that one and I need to mine a bunch of Jade. Well, this has been a very good lobby. It is coming to a close. Day, day seven. Okay, this thing actually put an extra time, overtime actually. And uh, yeah, it was a good lobby, got a ton of ruby, got a ton of topaz. In fact, I think I just hit 2 million topaz that I have in my uh, kind of sack right now. So we can actually go ahead and craft some of that stuff around and do some stuff with it. So I'm excited about that. And I actually might be able to throw on a topaz crystal, which uh, is really, really interesting, or like throw on a perfect topaz which I think would be very, very nice. Let me use this pickaxe ability really quickly and it's over. All good things come to an end. Also for like the last 20 seconds there, I had my Jerry because I, was, I just wanted to get like the last of that lobby done. But really quickly, actually, let me throw on this armor set. Let's try and grab our Jerry here. Hopefully Buddy is uh, ready to be harvested because I'm ready to collect. So there he goes. Blue Jerry, you love to see it. Hey buddy, good to see ya. Won't be seeing you for long. There we go. So I have 313 fine topaz just sitting there looking kind of cute. That is nearly five stacks of fine topaz. So let's craft some flawless topaz. We got one. We got two. We got three. And we almost have enough for a fourth. Super, super close. It's actually just teasing me with that. And let me actually check my set really quickly. I don't think I have any flawless uh, topaz on that I don't but I do have a flawless topaz on my uh, gauntlet so technically speaking what an option is is I take the topaz off of this I finished this last one because I'm super super close to it and that is five topaz which is enough for a perfect which is crazy and those things are worth 33 mil and we almost mined this entire thing in like two hours which is kind of insane so I think I'm gonna go mine a little bit more topaz. The other part of me though, because that takes 20 hours to do, and there's still, how much time's left in the event? There's still about two hours and 45 minutes. Part of me wants to throw these onto pieces and kind of just use them like that, like throw them onto my Devon armor for the time being and kind of just grind it out. But the part that is kind of like making me not want to is to remove a flawless topaz. Actually only 100K. Hold up. That is so easy to make back too. Okay, hold up. We're gonna we're gonna put these on here for now. After the event, then we can actually go ahead and start. Oh, I have. Wait, that's amber. Wait. Oh, there. Okay, fine topaz. Let's take that out. Let's take that off. I'm gonna put on a flawless topaz. Uh, there aren't any available slot. Oh my god, I took something off. It wants a gemstone chamber now. Oh, I didn't finesse the system. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Okay, so I did not escape. Um, oh, that's actually so heartbreaking. I did not escape gems or uh, worm fishing entirely then. I definitely need to do some worm fishing really, really badly, in fact, um, to unlock those topaz slots, like guaranteed. So something I need to work on very, very soon, maybe even tonight after the event, so I can get a topaz back onto this because I just lost myself 1.2 pristine which is just heartbreaking. So good to know, can't take it off that easily. What I can do though, actually, is I can upgrade the fine topaz that I put on my Yogg armor, I think. I think I can do that, right? Without it asking for a gemstone chamber, hopefully. Fine topaz, 10,000 coins. Let's take that off. There, okay, good. I can put flawlesses on these for the time being then. So let's take those off and let's put these on 
just to balance off the pristine that I just lost. That's so sad. So the mining fest fiesta has been continuing on. I've been mining a bunch of amber and topaz actually. Like the bottom half of these veins that I'm mining right now have been like forming as topaz. And then the top half is amber. And honestly, I need a ton of amber, especially for like my armor um, in the future. So I, I really don't mind that I have to mine a little bit of amber here. There's also like the rest of Bal out here, so it's like all kind of connected and a little bit of ruby over here. See what I mean? Right here, exactly. Like, it's been spawning like amber and topaz and so like some ruby all connected. So I've been mining kind of everything around me. Currently, I'm at like 1.5 mil rubies. We're back up to over 2 million topaz now. And keep in mind, I took out a million. So we were at 2 mil before, so I've mined another million since. I've mined nearly a million amber since as well, which is actually really nice. Um, no complaints about that. And yeah, that's kind of been like the big one. Cause like I was at like, I can't remember maybe two, 300 K Amber. I don't think I was too much above that. So yeah, I've, I've mined quite a bit of Amber since, and I definitely want to turn those into two flawless that I can actually, I can't even put those on my armor. Can I, and I have a flawless on this already. And I already have a flawless on my helmet. Hmm. Um, there is another slot. Either way, I'm going to need it at some point. I don't know how I'm going to get onto my Devon armor without having to worm fish. I think I just have to worm fish. But either way, I'm going to need a bunch of amber eventually is kind of the point I'm trying to get at. Or I can just keep going actually and save up for five flawless ambers and then get myself like a perfect on my gauntlet or something like that. Either way, I need a ton of it. Same situation for Jade. So uh, something I have to keep in mind. I think I'm good on rubies for the foreseeable future though until like maybe there's another armor set that like i want to put like a perfect ruby on or something like that but until then i think i actually have all the ruby that i need for a good while so really happy about that at least but yeah kind of just been mining a bunch of topaz i definitely have enough now for at least one perfect which is sick super super hyped about that so maybe we can throw that in the forge here soon and uh yeah overall just a whole lot of gemstones being mined so just been sitting here relaxing mining away and uh getting my jerrys every six minutes so a little bit more of that to come so the mining fiesta went really really well i ended up mining like six million gemstones which is kind of ridiculous but unfortunately this is all the time i have for you guys today this video is already getting on the longer side so hopefully you guys did end up enjoying it if you did make sure you leave a like on it subscribe channel if you guys are new around here and make sure to turn on post notifications so you don't miss tomorrow's episode but without further ado, I believe that's it for me. Make sure you check out my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, all those links in the description down below. Make sure you drop a sub, leave a like on the video while you're down there, and comment something random down below. But without further ado, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, and peace out.